And now to the Middle East and a critical moment in Israel's war with Hamas. The UN says around 450,000 people have now been displaced in southern Gaza ahead of a possible ground invasion of Rafah. Israeli tanks, they are already on the move. And there was another deadly airstrike just last night. MTS Tayeb reports from Tel Aviv. The harrowing aftermath of an Israeli airstrike on the Nusariyat refugee camp. A CBS News team was there as first responders dug survivors out from the rubble. Several people were killed in the attack, including women and children. But it's in Rafa where the fighting has triggered a mass exodus of civilians. Many are coming here to Al Mawasi, a squalid camp with no sanitation, including 81 year old Mustafa Al Ghazar, who was displaced as a child when the state of Israel was created and is now displaced again. I live in extreme fear, he says in tears. I can't even promise my own son and grandson safety. <laughs> Today marks Israel's 76th Independence Day in a somber memorial ceremony attended by Israeli leaders, protesters and hecklers interrupted. <laughs> accusing them of allowing the Hamas attack to happen. While in the occupied West Bank, a group of Israeli settlers attacked aid trucks on their way to Gaza, throwing food aid to the ground. And the White House has called the attack on the aid convoy, and I'm quoting here, a total outrage. Now, this is not the first time far-right groups in Israel have tried to stop humanitarian assistance into Gaza, as U.S. aid agencies say famine has already gripped large parts of the devastated Palestinian territory. Nate. MTS Tayeb in Tel Aviv, thank you.